Today, we're going to talk about an appraisal gap and waiving an appraisal. In our market in New Jersey at the Jersey Shore, we are in a very competitive market. What that means is there's a lot of buyers out there in the market. There's very low inventory. Okay, That means a buyer's competing for every house. So we have a stack of offers on most houses. If the houses are priced right in a good area, there's going to be a lot of offers on those houses. And the seller is always going to accept the offer that is, well, the highest price with the least amount of contingencies. So for example, if you're a cash buyer, you don't have a mortgage contingency. You don't have an appraisal contingency. So as we start chipping away contingencies, those offers become way more attractive to a seller. So if you're obtaining a mortgage and you want to compete with cash offers or even the other mortgage or the other financed offers, we have two options here. One, we can waive the appraisal or two, we can offer to, we can offer an appraisal gap. And I'm going to talk about that. First, an appraisal, the reason why we have an appraisal is basically in a real estate transaction, there's a buyer, a seller, two realtors. They have established value, right? The bank, well, the bank's in the business to make money, right? And they want all their best to be a sh- bets to be a sure thing. So what they're going to do is they don't trust those four people, the buyer, the seller, and the two realtors to establish value. We have a buyer who's asking to borrow hundreds of thousands of dollars and What the bank's going to do is they're going to require the buyer to hire a licensed appraiser to come out, be the eyes and ears of the bank, and tell the bank if the house is actually worth what everyone says it is, right? So what's going to happen is is the appraiser is going to come out, and they are going to use comparable sales in the last six months. They're going to stay within a quarter mile to a half mile of the house based on bedrooms, bathrooms, basements, garages, pools, square footage, all those things are going to come up with an appraisal report, and they're going to bring it back. And what happens is when we have these multiple offer situations and there's 10 offers on a house, buyers are very emotional, especially in this market, and they want to win. And so therefore, they just bid houses up and up and up and up and up. And therefore, sometimes they go a little high and the bank says, hey, you know what? I I understand everyone here wants to pay X for a house. That's just not the value. And the bank will lend on a property. Well, the bank will lend on the the bank will lend on the purchase price or the appraised value, whichever one is lower. So I'm gonna walk you through this. A house is listed at $800,000 and there's 10 offers on it. And this thing, oh my goodness, this thing has gone 10% over asking price and the seller has accepted an offer for 880. Now, the buyer, everyone, the buyer purchasing this house, they can one, waive the appraisal, which basically means if the house under appraises at any number possible, Anything between the purchase price of 800 and 880, if it under appraises, we're willing to pay the difference in cash at the closing table. The second thing that you can do is you can do an appraisal gap. And what an appraisal gap is, an appraisal gap basically says, you know what, I'm willing to throw X amount of money at this thing if it under appraises. So again, same example, house listed at 800,000, it appraises at, well, 800,000 sold for 880, right? And then it appraises at 850. So we have a $30,000 gap there, right? So what a buyer can say in the beginning is they could say, hey, you know what? Um, I'm willing to throw $20,000 towards an appraisal gap. I'm willing to throw $50,000 towards an appraisal gap, anything like that. And what this does is that assures the seller that they are going to receive the most amount of money for their property and it puts their mind at ease when someone's obtaining financing. So um, we can waive an appraisal. We can do an appraisal gap, which is we can just pick an amount of money that we are willing to pay towards an under appraisal, right? It doesn't have to be the whole amount. It can be 20 grand, 30 grand, 40 grand, 50 grand. Um, And that's how appraisals work. 